What is up everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Inatech FE 2009 MSATA SSD USB 3.0 portable enclosure. So, here we have the box. It comes in quite a nice small brown plain cardboard box. No messing around, you know what you're getting. There's the name of the product on the front and also some product details. But we're gonna dig right in and take a look at what you get with this. This is my first ever MSATA enclosure. I'll be using it as my primary editing drive or at least I hope I will be able to. And I think it'll be a really, really nice addition to my workflow. So here it is. Is. You're greeted with it straight away in a little plastic baggie. This is the enclosure itself and it is looking absolutely wonderful. Small, light. Let's put it to one side and take a look at what you get with it before we take a closer look at that itself. So we get a rather short USB 3.0 cable. Let's dig this out. Here we have it, very, very short, possibly the shortest one I've ever seen, but that's great. It won't get tangled up in your bag. This is intended to be a portable drive, and my gosh, that is very short, as you guys can see there, absolutely perfect. Blue showing you that it's USB 3.0. Next up, we have a bag with a few screws. We have an included screwdriver, which is a really, really nice touch, nice one. And also, finally, in the box, we have some instructions, which I assume will talk through some specifications, how to put your drive in, how to use it, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna wing it. Just pop that back in the box. This is looking awesome. It comes with everything you need, including the screwdriver, so even if you don't own a toolkit for whatever reason, you can still put your drive into this little enclosure. Of course, this video is all about the enclosure, but you need a drive to put in it. So for purposes of testing, making this video and hopefully for a drive that I'll be using for my daily video editing, I've decided to go for the Samsung SSD 850 EVO MSATA edition of course. I chose this because Samsung drives seem to be really reliable, I own quite a lot of them and none of them have given me any problems, they seem to have a nice balance between speed, performance, capacity and they're very popular and they've got good warranty and good support. So that's why I chose this one, let's quickly dig in so that we've got something to put into our fancy new enclosure. And there it is, right in front of us. I can't get over how small these are, guys. This is 500 gigabytes. Absolutely phenomenal. So here we have everything we need to assemble this bad boy. We have the enclosure itself, some screws, the included screwdriver, and of course, the MSATA SSD. Now, before I go any further, I would just like to say that the build quality of this thing is absolutely phenomenal. It feels like brushed aluminium, and it is so, so smooth to the touch, and it also feels durable. It feels like it could survive a trip in the bottom of your bag being smashed around. So this is truly a portable product, and so far, so good. I would give this my seal of approval for taking on the road for professional use. But it's time to put the drive in, so to help us get the end off, I reckon if we plug in the USB 3.0 cable and pull out the end, there we have it. So let's grab our drive and let's push it into the slot, like so. And push it down. It is clipped in, and there you have it. So it's actually quite a cool clipping mechanism, as you guys can hear, hopefully. It just unclips, and it folds down. It's almost like installing a stick of RAM or something like that in a laptop. It's a really, really seamless process. I think that's cool. Now let's slide this whole assembly back into the enclosure. I believe this is the correct orientation. There you have it. And let's use two of the included screws to screw the faceplate back on. So there we have it. 500 gigabytes of Samsung 850E VO storage packed into this tiny little aluminium enclosure. So I'm using the latest version of OS X as of recording this video. Let's plug this straight into a USB 3.0 port on my Mac. Now, of course, we get the obligatory, this disk is not recognized message. If we go to initialize, that'll spring up a disk utility and it'll allow us to set up our new drive. As you can see, it's labeled as Inatech because of course, there is a drive controller inside of that enclosure and we can go straight up to arrays. Now I'm gonna call this guy 
hyperspace. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be the fastest external drive I own. We can leave all the rest the same and go ahead and erase the drive. Of course, our Mac will ask us if we want to use this as a time machine drive. I do not want to do so personally. I'd say it's a shame to waste such fast storage on something like Time Machine. I want to use mine for editing within Final Cut Pro 10. So go away. And we are now done with disk utility. And of course, Hyperspace is now on our desktop and we can go ahead and begin using it. So I bet you're all thinking, how fast is it? Well, we have an impressive result of over 375 megabytes a second write and 424 megabytes a second read. So this enclosure via USB 3.0 really does utilize the best out of this MSAT SSD. I am absolutely over the moon with the speed of this and this is by far fast enough for my 1080p at 30 fps video editing workflow. So if those numbers mean nothing to you, then here's a basis for comparison. Right here I have my Western Digital 750GB 2.5 inch USB 3.0 external hard drive. This is a traditional hard drive, so let's see what this scores. We have 538 megabytes a second for the write speed and 574 megabytes a second for the read speed. As you guys can probably tell, a pretty colossal difference. Not to mention that the hard drive is much bigger, heavier, and also way, way, way less reliable. If you drop it, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to A, break it, and B, lose all of your data. At least with the SSD, you have that sense of stability and reliability. So that's that. The Inatech FE 2009, a very fast, strong, and truly portable storage solution for the traveling professional. Based on MSATA technology, you get blazing speeds in a compact, sturdy case. I'd like to say a big thanks to Inatech for providing this great piece of tech to showcase on the channel. Stick around over the coming weeks to hear my thoughts on this enclosure and the SSD within. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.